Hello folks, and this is Kiki doing uh, Army Man Team Assault Part 8A. Uh, unfortunately, my monitor broke and I had to replace it, uh, which means that there is some frames per second lag. And uh, I don't know if that will appear or not in the uh, video, but uh, while I was playing it, I did have frames per second lag, and I don't know how to fix it yet. And this one's kind of a longer mission, uh, just because of all the uh, auto triggers. It, you can actually complete this with one person, but uh, since you have to have two people to complete the mission anyway, uh, we'll go on from there. But basically, it's you have to uh, steal a truck. Nothing too hard. Uh, this is also one of those missions where, depending upon who you choose, can give you different options on what you want to do. Like for me, I have one guy who meets both of the requirements for the mission, and then I have shit out here. And yeah, it's showing the uh, frames per second lag. Uh, well, you guys get to enjoy it how I do. And I apologize. Like I said, it's a new monitor, and I haven't configured it yet. Uh, so this was just kind of like a test play of it. And uh, I'll do some experimenting and figure out how to get it to work. But uh, basically. For this mission, we're not really going to use Shadow as much. He, he has some use here, but he doesn't have full use here. This is more focused on tanks and jeeps, so Shadow is sort of useless. But they do have a lot of auto triggers of... Uh, just you step on a certain spot or so close to a certain area, they'll spawn up on you. And I will be using a save states for this uh, LP just because of the frames per second lag, and I don't want to cheapen you guys with it because it's like I said, it's running very, very slow, and this mission took ex a little bit longer than it should have just because of that. But it is a long mission anyway, so. Having it in two parts is fine. And as you can see there, I was clear, and then yeah, all of a sudden, an enemy just popped out of nowhere. Uh, shooting these crates here uh, all along the mission will give you various ammo. So you just find the right one, find the uh, wrench, and you're good to go. Well, I guess this is kind of interesting for uh, Enter the Matrix style gameplay for a second. Uh, but like I said, this isn't the game itself. This is my monitor giving me grief. So uh, don't judge harshly. As for some good news and bad news, my uh, power supply has arrived on the uh, laptop. But unfortunately, my laptop is still giving me issues, which means it's the laptop itself and not the power cords. So until I have to get to a uh, tech shop to get it fixed, and I don't know how much that's going to cost. Also, I completed my round of uh, It's War. So uh, those people who want to get into it and try it, just give it a couple days, and I'll have a new round up. Usually they have one up within the week after the game's over, so uh, go on, give it a try. Like I said, it's uh, it's war.net, and the reason I'm advertising it is because uh, it's a pretty good game, and it's just a tech, but it's a text browser-based shooter, but it actually is quite fun, and uh, a pretty good player base. Uh, you know, friendly com gaming community and whatnot, and you can actually submit ideas and uh, 
they'll talk about it and see if they can incorporate it in the game if they can or if they can't or whatnot. It actually has a lot of user development into it besides uh, your standard MMO. But like I said, it is text-based, and which means that there isn't really too much graphics to talk about. But there's a lot of user-created content in it, and uh, you may like it. There's also uh, various forms of it, uh, besides this, it's war. Uh, I believe there's one that's called Tivs, uh, which is a space style one that has uh, turns so many per hour or something. Uh, then there's uh, another one that's uh, more of a frantic version of it, which uh, moves quicker. And then there's a naval form of it. And I believe that there's a gangster style one that's called G Wars or something to that effect. Uh, But, uh, like I said, if you're feeling bored and just kind of want to try something obscure and silly, give that a try. Anyway, back to the mission here. As you can see, uh, since we went ahead and picked shit out of there, there was a sniper rifle there. There's also landmines if you brought an explosives guy with you. Uh, but I didn't, so I don't get to use them. And basically, it just affects some some parts of the gameplay. This level, like as you can see here, since I brought shit out here, and he's a sniper, that means that I can pick off enemies as I move along. Uh, I'm not really using the sniper rifle too much because it's all auto-triggered ambushes. And there's a jeep ahead of me. And I apologize, but. Uh, a fair chunk of this video is actually going to be waiting on that jeep because uh, that can kill you, but you can easily kill it, and you have to kind of wait for it to trigger in the right spot. I mean, to drive up to the right spot so they can take it out. Uh, which is kind of a different uh, style method than. Army men, uh, you know, the Sergeant's Heroes line with the Jeeps. Uh, I don't know if you can take them out or not. I know you can take helicopters out with uh, your normal gun, but uh, I don't know if you can take Jeeps out. And I know for sure you can't take tanks out. In this version, you can take uh, Jeeps out, but uh, for some of the. World at War games, you can't take helicopters out, so uh, that's kind of a couple of differences there. And like I said, uh, this is a long video, and I apologize, but uh, I was just trying out my new monitor and seeing how it's going to work. There's some medkits and grenades, and there's that jeep again. Looks like it's coming a little bit in range for us. And see, that jeep has a patrolled set path, and that's the problem of why I said most of this video is probably going to be waiting on that waiting on that jeep. And I might do some editing out for that. I might not. I don't know. Because it is kind of annoying and it isn't fair for you guys to wait forever for this jeep to show up. So it looks like it's turning around that way. Well, that stinks. So uh, I'll go ahead and just wait on this jeep to come back. And it looks like uh, I'm going to wait a few more days, uh, but it looks like uh, Raymu is the uh, one that's going to win the uh, Tao Hao Mon starter. Uh, if you haven't or wanted to, you can post comments on the on my channel or on the Tao Hao starter video of uh, which starter Tao Hao Mon you want. 
uh, their chibi forms of Sakira, uh, Remu, and uh, Marissa. So, uh, if you want to see it, go ahead. If not, uh, but this version, I think it is the first version. It's not the. Uh, thing. I'm gonna try to throw a grenade here to kill the jeep, but the jeep d drove too fast. Ah oh, well. Well, rather than waste you guys' time, I'm just gonna kill the jeep. There you go. Now we don't have to worry about the jeep, but we triggered 50 million other guys, which is fine. I don't understand the logic of giving you a fully auto and a semi auto. Uh, just doesn't make much sense to me, but they give you like three or four three across the map, so take them as you will. And this is where the level splits off in two directions. Uh, you can go one way, which is sort of a shortcut, a little bit safer. Or you can go the long way. Uh, you'll, each path has various units, and some paths meet to each other, so you can decide. Uh, what I'm showing now is kind of the longer path. Uh, as you can see, there's a tank that spawned there, and there's still supply stuff there. And it looks like the tank tried to take a shot at me, but missed. So let's go ahead and show off the uh, shortcut. And the shortcut path is where I'm going to be headed. So this may be a good shortcut, but be, be alert. There's Tan as in let you know that just because you take this path doesn't mean it's going to be any easier. I find it a little bit easier just because they're like all bunched up in the one sp uh, little spots. They do have retarded triggers like that, though, but... At least it's a little, a little quicker. And unfortunately, the auto aim is a pain in the butt. Like I said, if I could manual aim it, this game would be a thousand times easier, or less annoying. We'll go ahead and just take out targets. And there we go. That one. Okay. And watch, there'll be somebody spawning. Yep, there's somebody spawning right to my right. See what I mean with this? The silly spawns. But nothing we can do about that. Uh, if you haven't tried it yet, uh, if you're into barbecues and stuff, uh, I had earlier today a uh, mix of some hamburger patties and uh, sausage patties. Uh, basically, you know, you have your like hamburger, you know, grinded up or whatever. Um, you know, they come in those little small packages. So you can usually find them at Walmart or whatnot. And then you have like Jimmy Dean sausage packages of just, uh, you know, stuff where you can kind of move it in your hands and make patties with them. But anyway, what I did was I mixed the two together. Uh, I believe it was maple flavor uh, for the Jimmy Dean stuff. I mixed them together, and they came out pretty good. So you might try them sometime. Uh, walk, walk, walk. Yeah, for the most... For well, let's be switching between the two, but Dante is just pretty much to clear out the vehicles in the area thing, and then Shadow is just to clear out the infantry in the area. Uh, pretty much, you could complete this whole mission entirely if you just wanted to using Dante, and because uh, he meets both the requirements for the mission, and you just solo with him and then bring your partner up, or you can do like I did and just you know mix it up, mix and match it. But uh, 
Uh, let's be King signing out for uh, part 8A, so uh, later.